okay so a very good question was asked on the channel that in icu and emergency settings we do abgs of the patient very frequently and in abgs there comes the electrolyte values like sodium potassium chloride so whether we should rely on these electrolyte values or we should cross check by sending in the lab by confirming with the serum lab values so i reviewed all the literature which was available many articles and studies which were there so they concluded that the abg parameters get affected by the ph uh, of the patient uh, and it's an arterial blood while it doesn't get affected by the protein content of the patient body but there are variations actual variation between the arterial blood and the venous blood in sodium that was the variation was somewhere around 5 to 9 milliequivalent in potassium it was 0.5 to 1 Uh, milliequivalent in chloride it was four to five milliequivalent. So for emergency settings, ABG values are fair enough. You can manage the patient based on that. But to find the actual value, you need to send to the lab and confirm by the venous blood. Do read more about.